<laughs> Gentlemen, behold, it actually works. <laughs> uh, it's so sad because it's a piece of junk. Alright, what am I doing here? Okay, so I have this. This is at 28.7. Alright, we're at 28.7 volts off this guy going into this buck boost converter giving six amps worth well right now four amps um, up to a maximum of six amps into this guy so this was ten dollars oh boy let's find out thankfully I write everything down on random scraps of paper buck boost converter 20 bucks all right so 20 bucks 20 bucks and this guy was probably 50 plus dollars. Okay, so in conclusion, just get, just get, yeah, sorry. Just get this, just get this, right? Five amps, so one amp less for, come on, 20, 26 dollars. Or this 15 amps for pretty much the same price as all those parts so yeah anyways i did get it to work <laughs> it only took forever and i have no clue why so yeah this works next is to hook this guy up to this guy and see what happens because we're trying to troubleshoot but we're at the part conclusion where um, these make sky blue and fake make sky blues are pieces of junk as I said in my second last video uh, Near the end of it is a very long video, but these are pieces of junk because when they Go past their amperage rating they turn off instead of throttling down so <laughs> We found it out we figured it out and this thing is really sketchy and the smell is the smell of cooking parts so yeah we got tons of heat coming off of those two um voltage converter mosfet thingies who cares um if someone actually knows um just post it because um honestly i'm not quite gonna look it up it doesn't matter to us because we're not building the circuit we're just buying testing and utilizing them so we are we are at the end of this journey this horrible journey where i try to utilize bad parts so yeah this thing has been you know i'm sorry i'm used to widescreen i'm just gonna flip the widescreen there i'm i'm so much more used to widescreen than a uh, regular camera so it's just um the, the shots aren't very good but anyways i wanted to share that since um it actually is working out, and it'll actually, check this out, might as well do some extras, my, my thingamajigger, watch this, ramp, it should ramp up, 4 amps, hmm, should ramp up, no reason not to, yeah, you see that, it's, um, from the batteries, it's using, four amps and from the power supply it's using four amps so 4.5 and uh let's, <laughs> i was like let's find out what happens when you when you just completely cut her off look at this and then it ramps back up all right so that's what this cheap uh pulse width modulated solar charge controller does is it slowly ramps up and Let's, uh, yeah, and that turns back on right away. Let's see what happens when we do BMS. Hmm. Okay, it's so ramping up rapidly. We're not. It's not doing anything. All right, well, um, yeah, I'll do more testing. Let's, uh, let's do one more. Can you guys see all this? Yeah, even that would. Alright, I'm gonna dim it. 
Listen to that sound. Oh, that's a good sound. Yeah, you gotta love these, um... These pieces of junk. Yeah, these, um, modified sine waves. Uh, pieces of junk, as I said in many of my other videos, but I'm just happy that this thing does function. Um, so, we have almost concluded that the problem is the, um... The MPPT charge controller is a piece of junk. Uh, it's very unfortunate, but, uh, you know, $200 uh, mistake. Maybe I can resell it for $100, $150 to someone. Um, we'll see. Maybe I'll just resell it uh, for cheaper, you know, someone who wants an MPPT and, uh, you know, has actual solar panels because maybe it just doesn't function with power supplies maybe but I don't know I could try throttling it I can do all kinds of things but I don't know boys anyways thought you'd uh, like this it's a little janky but it does work so thanks guys uh, let me know what you think if you have any uh, any suggestions, I, I would greatly appreciate them, because like I said in my last, second last video, I am honestly kind of running, running, uh, running out of ideas, right? I have lots of ideas, I have a lot of things to do, but I'm trying to solve certain problems before I create, like, a really beautiful, you know, power wall. Because, uh, hunt camps and stuff, like, uh, cabins out in the woods... Um, my dad has one, and he really wants one of these to be put into it, but, um, I'd like something a little bit more, uh, rugged for transportation. Yeah, you could put in those big plastic suitcase things, blah, 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 and all that, but I also want it easy to fix, and when you put it into a suitcase, cram it really packed tight, it's really hard to, like, wire trace and understand, and in a final design... This is gone. It's replaced with a really tiny BMS. Um, this is gone. Um, these two might be gone. Actually, I'd go with the 4S, and it would go to a um, CCCV to chop it down to... I actually ordered that part, too, so it, that's going to be in here, too. A CCCV, so you can do 12-volt stuff and then I'm I need to do that I keep forgetting I'm gonna buy a bunch of 24 volt DC LED lights and I'm gonna you know test that out because in a hunt camp you'd want to run it off 24 volts instead of um, off the inverter I mean yeah you could do 12 volts as well there's lots of options right but anyways it's it's a little neat it's a little interesting so I'm sure that buzzing was a little annoying see what this guy does. Hmm. It's pulsating. 2 amps, 1 amp, 1.2. We really got some uh, some cooking. That's some cooking going on there, boys. That's why you don't want to use those things. You want to just use an all-in-one unit. Uh, similar to this little black guy. This looks like a laptop power supply. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, hope you liked the video. And have a good day.